Welcome back guys. I thought I'd cut the Hastings patch today. I need to cut it one more time before I plow it. And I'll probably plow it maybe about the 1st of November, maybe. Yeah, no, I probably won't wait that long. But the patch I put the, uh, I'll get it out in a minute, the lime that I put on it. I don't believe I'm gonna plow that. I don't want to put that. I'm, I don't want to flip that line too far under the ground. So what I think I'll do is uh, just chisel plow that, and we'll chisel it again next spring, of course, and just chisel it for this fall, mix it up good. So I think I'm gonna do that there. We're gonna grab the tractor in a minute, and we're gonna plow that and uh, see. this. Oh, it's dry. We're letting some of the hastings dry out here. If it gets dried out, we'll I like to grind some. I seen where you could buy a grinder from anything too dark in here, is it? <laughs> um, you can buy a grinder from what was it? Leland's? Leland's online? L E L A N D. It was a grinder for like twenty-five dollars, like a grain grinder, corn and different things like that. And uh, I said, man, I want to grind some in some cornmeal. But I, I got a couple of buddies that's got a sheller, so I'm gonna probably wait till about December to shell this, and we'll do a video on that. The uh, oh, I'm sorry, am I stepping on your fenders? No, I wasn't gonna put them back on either. <laughs> the Jimmy <laughs> Red. It's down here. I just went ahead and shucked it while I was in the patch. But that should be enough Jimmy Red to... I only had just a little handful left, so this should be enough Jimmy Red to replace that handful. So we got that. I'm gonna make sure. I don't think it's heating, but I wanna make sure. I remember tobacco used to heat. If you had tobacco in a trailer, no, that feels pretty cool. It's not, I mean, I, I assume this shed is as dry as a corn crib. I mean, I got it backed in deep. Uh, the bottom of the wagon's like that, so let's get some air there. It's getting air on the sides, but I do kind of smell like I, I kind of smell some, uh, like a fermenting smell. I, I mean, I really would think. All right, this one come off the bottom. Yeah, I mean, she's dry. Mm, smells like corn crib corn to me. Of course, it could be just, it could be that stalk drying. But anyway, I don't want to bore you to death, take up all the video on, uh, showing you the corn but so we'll ride up here at Sam's and I'm gonna I'll cut a little bit and I may not film the whole patch cut and we'll just cut some and uh, I just want to get it down a little bit better before I plow it and we still got the patch up Rogers to plow and then maybe I might even get a new patch or two this year to plow and uh, so we'll take it there so come on go with us
can tell you this so this side here I end up cutting it twice with that bog hair and it really has made a difference on cutting it now with the leveling hair over there I only cut it once with the bog hair and of course the leveling hair is just kind of bouncing all over the place but you know we'll get it a little more leveler and get you know it, it probably wouldn't hurt to maybe cut it again with the bog hair it would probably with that weight you guys know how heavy that thing is it would probably cut up some stalks some more but that's all right we'll we'll get it plowed and we'll put under we'll put this stuff under the dirt and she'll rot over the winter but uh just appreciate everybody for watching and uh hope my shoe video didn't bore you too bad but uh just a little something different and uh i had a thought and if you've made it this far in the video, you might be interested. So I had a thought that, like the first weekend of November, Roger's got about a five acre sunflower patch up there. Not last year, but year before last, I did some video of me planting it and cultivating the sunflowers. And we said something about plowing it. Um, you guys let me know if any of you'd be interested in maybe having a little meet and greet and you can bring your tractor and plow and maybe just you know you always see about these plow days on TV on the plow day such and such plow day this plow day maybe we can have a JT West plow day um, and you bring your tractor and we'll plow that field up there I mean I, I plan on plowing it regardless whether we have one or not but I just thought about it it's a good sandy field it's pretty forgiving as far as if it rains you know three days before we want to plow it, it it's a pretty forgiving feel it, it it doesn't get like wet for weeks and take hot weather to dry it it, it stays out pretty dry so just a thought I, you know I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in it what I'll do is I'll GPS the coordinates of the field and I'll put it in not the comments but the description of the video so I'll put it in the description and, and where you can I'll do a Google one so you can click on to it and, and it open Google Maps up on your phone and you can see where it's at and how far it is from you but let me go just it's a thought and uh, we'll just go from there so we'll finish cutting this and uh, we'll wrap that video up for tonight and just everybody hang in there I know man some of this COVID stuff I know it's a bad deal and I, I know it's hurt a lot of people and it's even killed some people and I hate it I do but you know I I just think sometimes they just going overwhelming with this stuff and uh, you know if any of you guys have been with the channel for a while you know I had it and it it was pretty hard on me but I do feel like my natural antibodies from having it are as good or if not better than the shot but for some reason or another our government government for the first time in the history of medical industry uh, natural immunity is not as good as a pill or a shot and I I don't get that because I from what I understand I'm no doctor no medical expert but I've always read where doctors natural immunity was the gold standard for diseases and, uh, but for some reason it's not with COVID and I just don't get that. And I mean, matter of fact, if, you know, up before COVID, if you went to the doctor, well, I don't want to give you no antibiotics because we give out too many antibiotics and, and we want you to be able to fight this stuff off on your own. And, uh, but you know, that's totally changed now. So I, I don't know. But anyway, I try not to get on a soapbox on my channel. I really do. Cause I, you know, I, cause I've often said, I would like a whole lot of more Hollywood actors if they just didn't tell me what their thoughts was and just play in the movie and that's it and leave their opinions alone. So here I'm doing what they're doing and guilty of it. So I won't do this too much. Thank you guys.